thanks so much for tuning in today. I wanted to hop on here and just do a quick video with you guys about fragrances. Summer is approaching and it's approaching really quick. I know that a lot of you guys are going to want to find that perfect summer fragrance. Now, if you're anything like I am, I like the stronger smells, you know what I mean? I do like my fresh, I do like my florals, I do like my warmer scents, I like them all, really, but it just depends on whatever resonates with me at the moment. There's no rule of thumb, so if it's summertime, I don't tend to just stick with fresh. I will still explore my options. So the first one that we are going to start off with, brand new purchase for me, it's going to be the Versace Turquoise Blue. So this is the Dylan, right? Dylan Turquoise Blue. Um, beautiful packaging, like a frost um, bottle, the Versace logo, beautiful little cap here. I wanted to read off some of the keynotes and things like that so that you guys do have it. And for the Versace, it is considered a fresh floral. So if you guys like fresh florals, you might like this one. Um, some of the key notes in this one, it's got lemon primo fiore. I don't know what that is. Uh, guava, you can smell a little bit of the guava in this one, you guys. It's really nice. It's got some musk to it. Honestly, like, you guys, when I smell this one for myself, I'm just going to spray a little bit. I can smell a little bit of like jasmine. So if you guys like jasmine at all, you might like this. It's not listed in the key notes or anything. But the other thing with this one is that it does have that citrus kick. So if you do like all of those things, you might really enjoy this one. Now this one is beautiful. It's really nice, but I might hand this one off to my mom. I think that she might enjoy this a little bit more than I will. And I don't know if you guys have tried the original Dylan. Love it. Like, I love that one. Um, check both out if you want to. Uh, you can go into your local Sephora. You can go into Shoppers Drug Mart and maybe just give this one a quick sniff and see if it's up your alley. Right along, I've got Jo Malone. This is a classic guys can see the bottle there. So this one is one of my personal favorites. It is the Mimosa and Cardamom. Everybody knows Jo Malone, right? Um, a lot of the fragrances by Jo Malone, you can actually layer them, uh, wear them together, combine them. It's like beautiful, right? You can't go wrong. Let me actually read off some of the key notes for you. Um, first of all, it is considered a powdery floral, okay? And I think that's pretty true uh, to this fragrance. Um, the key notes in this one, cardamom, we have mimosa, tonka bean, and that's it. Those are the key notes. So it's really simple, and I like that. But the thing is, you guys, if you've ever smelled this one, it's like, it like takes you away on holiday. That's how I feel about this one. So anytime I travel, anytime I'm out and about, or even if I'm just going out with my girlfriend, whatever it is, I throw this one on and it just lasts all day, all day. The concentration level is really nice in this one. It has amazing staying power. I just feel like this one's such a classic. I don't know. I really enjoy it. I have other ones as well from Jo Malone, but this one, it just takes me back to every amazing moment that I've ever experienced in my life. It's so nice. You guys have to try a little bit. Um, of course, with fragrances, it really does depend on how it reacts with your body chemistry. I always recommend just going into one of the stores and spritzing some and just, you know, walk around, let the alcohol wear off and see how the fragrance does for you. On to our next batch. I'm going to call it the next batch because I literally have a small little batch of fragrances here with me. They came in a set, so they came with 
three in a set. Um, this is the replica. Okay, so these three came together and then these three came together. Now, this is my very first time venturing into the replica brand and getting to know some of their scents. And I thought, what better way to try them out than to purchase the little kits, right? So you can actually see what they're all about and not spend a ton of money doing so. Because I think that some of their items are a little bit on the pricier side as well. I think you can still get these at Sephora. So if you do want to give them a try, that's always a good way to start. But this one here has three fragrances. The first one is called Sailing Day. You guys can see that. So that's the first one there. It's got Lazy Sunday Morning as well. And also it comes with Beach Walk. I did like a couple of them, but I think my favorite one by far is Sailing Day. Sailing Day is one of my favorites. I wanted to go over some of the notes here with you. So Sailing Day is actually considered a fresh, it says fresh aquatics. So the key notes, aquatic accord, coriander, red seaweed essence as well. Now this one, it smells nice. It smells fresh. It smells fun. I recommend this one. This one is number one, one of my favorites for sure. The next one that I like as well is Beach Walk appropriate for the summertime you know you're going to the beach why not throw on some beach walk now this one literally does smell like salty beach water right it is a fresh floral interesting okay um so the key notes bergamot heliotrope coconut milk what is heliotrope I don't know um, but it does smell like as I said just salty beach water or salty beach air then these three are next um, so I got bubble bath you guys can see that so that's bubble bath um, jazz club you guys can hopefully see that there and I got by the fireplace as well. So there's that one too. So my favorite out of these three is hands down Jazz Club. Jazz Club has a very unique scent to it. I wouldn't classify this as a total summer fragrance, but in the beginning of the video, I think I did tell you guys, I'm just the type of person where if it resonates with me, it resonates with me. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. And I really do like this one. It is a little bit on the heavier side. Um, so this one is a warm and spicy. It's considered warm and spicy. Um, some of the key notes in here, pink pepper, rum absolute, tobacco leaf absolute as well. So those are some of the key notes that they've listed under this one. Now this one here, I can smell the tobacco. I want to say I smell a little bit of vanilla. It's very like a different type of a combination for sure. And I think that when I was reading over kind of like, you know, just the vibe they were going for, it smells like when you walk into that jazz club, you can smell the open cigar boxes, the liquor, the, the bar stools that have like the old aged leather on them, right? Um, so I quite, it's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really and truly hope that maybe you will try some of these fragrances and comment down below if you do. Thanks so much, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.